to start. They'll try and win this group three on the way through. And Nostradamus is the favourite at four dollars. From your group, four forty, Washington Heights, four sixty. We go to our mounting yard preview with these three year olds and we start with number one law. Now with the Chris Wally yard, this Denman Colton, he resumes today. Rich we've noticed in recent barrier trials. He's, uh, Chris is just trying to teach him to sell that little bit more. Yeah, well look, um, he just got into a bad uh, uh, mindset really, um, where he you know, he just he was fractious, he, he just um, very upset, he fired up and I think it's just a change of scenery, just trying to get him to settle and relax. He's, I think it's a big advantage now that he, he's going to have to walk across from the stables to here. But I think he's a live and learn. What he does today, he's only going to improve on and you know, I think it's just a matter of getting his head right because he, he has got ability, he's shown that early on in his um, career. Number two is the Dreamscape Colt Bugatti for Michael Wayne and John Hawks. Blake Shin with the ride. Uh, this horse was good enough to uh, win a good race at Flemington earlier in the year and then placed behind Naeli and uh, he resumes off a little bit of a break here. Oh, well, the big bonus for Bugatti is that the rain hasn't come. Um, he stopped as a shot. They called the sniper. Um, his first up run at Sandown. Switch of, stay, a switch of scenery up to Sydney. He buried tried like a superstar. It, obviously, there's more pressure in this type of race, but it was Brazen Bow on the inside of him who, you know, is Chris is hoping to go to that level like Zeus. 12 months ago so look the, the dry of the track this horse is up and running and he's very much on the toe here number three is Nostradamus again from the Hawks yard and Medagliadoro Colt he's a half brother to star witness so big pedigree backs him up he, he resumes here today coming off a Hawksbury trial win yeah look it was only a marrow margin it wasn't flash but it was a nice trial it was a bl blowout here he's got that little bit of freshness I think he's going to be better when he gets a little bit further this fella but he's a, certainly a nice horse and when you look at the betting you get his 13 he's 370 uh, I think that says which one probably the stables prefer him but you know he, he's got improving to come. Number four is Bold Circle backs up after running eighth of eight not beaten too far behind Scissor Kick first up last week. Yeah just drew a, a bad the, the way the race panned out and he got back and it was never going to be suited from where he got to and um, look he wasn't been that far just under six lengths but I think you'll see a better run from him today. Number five is the Gay Waterhouse trained Wangina. Snitzel Colt, we know he did a good job at his first preparation. He mixed it with some of the better youngsters of his year and he's first up. Well, he's got plenty of speed and whether he's got enough speed to say go with sheer style or Nostra uh, or Bugatti, but he has got a bit of speed. At least he, he put his head out in a couple of the trials. I think he's going to be a better horse when he can get to a race where he can dictate and dominate from himself. But, oh, look, he's certainly he's wound up enough. Taken with number six in the yard here, Washington Heights. Good type. Uh, commands Colt. He resumes here. He's only been to the races once. Been unlucky behind Hallowed Crown. Keen to see what he can do here. Very much so, Richard. Uh, I thought his debut run was outstanding and that was on a heavy track. Uh, was he suited because he's by commands? But, you know, his trial, I know Gerald told us on uh, um, Wednesday races that he or the track work on Tuesday morning when I was out here, mind you, at half past four. Uh, he was always going to be better over that further and, he, and he's not under it. He, he's not wound up. But he just saw territory come from the back. There's plenty of speed here. I know he's there late. And number seven is Hampton Court, also for Gay Tai Anglin with the ride. He's a, he's a decent three-year-old, this fellow, but you think you'd find these a bit too sharp. Yeah, the blinkers are going on trying to sharpen him up. He hasn't shown us enough yet. Perhaps he's still, you know, a little while away from maturing. He, he hasn't shown that he's up to this grade just yet. Number eight is the filly here, Sheer Style. Um, she is going really well, this preparation. She looks nice and fit in the yard, and as you'd expect, she's been up for a little while now. Uh, can she uh, cause a little bit of an upset here? Well, she had 58 last start, and I don't think that really suits her, the, the tiny little girl. Inkling come out and ran outstanding in a harder race. Um, well, I don't think she's hopeless. 54 on her back. She likes to roll. She runs. She in the yard, but uh, I was just watching her down at the gates, and she seemed to settle when she got on the track. So my number's Richard, 3, 6, and 9. 3, 6, and 9 from Cathy O'Hara in the yard here for the San Domenico, the Smithfield RSL. Of course, Cathy will be riding in races, in race 7. And the one in the last was scratched. Let's go down the board. Number 1, Law. 15. It's been a blowout to 21. So the 9, wasn't he? Uh, but that's what the team are adjudicating. But number 3, Nostradamus is the market mover in front of number six Washington Heights and eight E Grit. So they're the three the punters have latched onto. They're the three favourites. They've signalled those three out from the opposition. So the market mover three, Nostradamus Hainsey, just in front of number six and eight. Uh, six and nine, sorry. It's uh, such an important race for these Colts, Cathy. I mean, uh, if a Nostradamus wins or a Washington Heights wins or, or a Wangena wins, it, it puts a group three next to their name and that's um, so valuable for them. Yeah, you look back um, through the role of winners through this race, there's, um, there's some decent stains if you go back amongst the years, like Switzerland and 
Dewport and Shellscape, and then you go further back, you see Zariz Testarossa, so it's sort of a stallion shaping race, but um, you know, whether these horses step up to it or not, it's yet to be seen, but um, it's certainly one that shapes them well on their way anyway. Yeah, for sure, they get their chance here. They're, they're all golden rose bound at this stage, but uh, they have to get past this hurdle. Of course, um, we have the run to the rose coming up on the way to the golden rose, and we'll see how these three-year-olds fit into the mix. Washington Heights, 480 into $4. Um, good money for number six here, Washington Heights. I'm sure whatever he does today will improve upon him, but he is a good-looking animal. They start to move in for the main race all today. This will be interesting. Let's head upstairs and join Mark Sheen for his call. Now, Nostradamus went in. Now, Bugatti and Cheer Style, they're both in very similar colours. Bugatti has got a pom-pom on the cap and Cheer Style a striped cap. But their jacket looks uh, pretty similar. Hampton Court's about to move up. Now, the rider from uh, Law is momentarily dislodged, but uh, he's back aboard now. So we've got three to move in for the running of the San Domenico. Now, Law about to uh, move up and take its spot. I mean, it's the uh, first start for the new stable. So Sheer Style about to come in, and one Gina will be the final runner to take its spot. One to go. Last one coming up. goes up. San Domenico. Racing now. And Washington Heights jumped okay. Nostradamus was easily the best in the stride. Now being taken on by moving up on the outside, Juan Gina to head it. And going with it is Sheer Style, followed by Egret, then Bugatti, who dwelled at the start. And he's ended up off the speed in about fifth spot. Then Washington Heights, followed by Bold Circle Law, and Hampton Quarters last of all. Sheer Style worked away to the front and got clear and leads from Juan Gina in second spot. Uh, then Egret, who's railed up into third. Nostradamus a half away on the outside. Side, followed by Bugatti. Washington Heights is further back. This leader's gone further ahead, coming into the straight. Then Bold Circle, Law and Hampton Court. Well, Sheer Style has it right away. It's to the lead about three or four lengths on Egret, who's giving chase with on the outside of it, Juan Gina. Nostradamus coming down the centre. And then Bugatti and Washington Heights are starting to pick up ground near the inside. It's Washington Heights and Nostradamus are hitting the lead together. Nostradamus is in front on the outside from Washington Heights. And Nostradamus... Nostradamus beat Washington Heights and Law, and then Wangina, followed by Bold Circle, Egret, and with them is Bugatti, Hampton Court, and Sheer Style has showed plenty of speed, got pretty tight late and finished at the back of the field. Now uh, the TVN Market Mover wins number three, Nostradamus, James McDonald for the Hawk Stable, 103.63, 34.25, was very impressive, got the right run when Washington Heights berths through. He'll take improvement uh, from the runner number one, Law. I reckon that would please uh, the start thoroughbreds team at big odds he really hit the line powerfully out wide three six one one general hold fourth and sheer style who gave them something to chase didn't see it out well, Nostradamus scores here, and uh, well, and James McDonald and Team Hawks are uh, they are the slipper winning combination from last year, and they get the win here with this what the first and second horses are going to be you know right in the right in the roses because he's you know both of these he was going to make really rally but um you know he's going to want a little bit further later uh Um, but like I said, I think both of these first two are pretty special. Yeah, nice win by Nostradamus. Washington Heights will really come on for the run. Uh, Law runs third, one Gina finishes. They've had a good uh, half and full brothers, but it doesn't account for them. This bloke's pretty smart in his own right. Yeah, he's solid. I know that we've got a Sarah, he pulls up. And, but, 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 are you thinking he's a straight and out and out sprinter, or, or is he, he going to be that uh, to get to the mop? 